morning student today we will read about the quadratic equation but uh, already we read about the uh, nature of the roots how to solve the equation today we will read about how to solve the problems in what problem what is given first uh, i will tell you one by one that uh, how we will proceed first is uh, if uh, the problem is told about problem is told about number about number number means uh, you can say that consecutive numbers what are consecutive numbers even consecutive or consecutive you can say one question is given if two consecutive numbers product is uh, product is uh, 56 given what he told two consecutive number so consecutive number means what uh, One, then after two, or gap between two numbers should be one. Okay, one, two, three, four. These are known as the consecutive numbers. If we talk about consecutive even numbers, two, four, six, eight. If we talk about a odd number, one, three, five, seven. Like this. So if we talk about consecutive number only. Then first number I can take x. Then second number equal what? X plus one. So what is the gap here? One. But uh, in these two cases, consecutive even number and consecutive odd number, gap equal how much? Two. If I will take first number x, then next number equal what? X plus two. So let go to the question. What he told? Product of two number is fifty-six. Uh, let uh, The consecutive numbers are x and x plus one. So what he told? Product. Product means x into x plus one. Equal to how much? Fifty six. You have to write according to the question. So x into x equal to how much? X square plus x equal to fifty six. Therefore x square plus x minus fifty six equals to zero. Okay. If we told product of two consecutive number is fifty six, first I have taken let first number is x. I told consecutive number, so second number must be one greater only. So x plus one I have taken. According to the question, what he told product of the consecutive number is fifty six. So I written here x into x plus one equal to fifty six. Therefore I got the equation. Okay. After that you can solve. If we told product of Product of two consecutive even number equals to how much? Consecutive even number equals to total eighty. What are eighty? So how can you take first? I told consecutive even number means gap equal to how much? Two. So when I will take first number equal to x, next number equal to what? X plus two. So he told what product of so x into x plus two equals to how much eighty. Therefore x square plus two x equal to eighty. Therefore x square plus two x minus eighty equals to zero. After that you can solve because you know that splitting the middle term and putting the formula. Next question how find the two number? He may be asked you about the number. Find the two number by differ by how much five differ differ means difference between two number equal to given difference equal to how much given five okay difference equals to five and sum of whose square is ninety seven sum of square equal to how much ninety seven sum of square equal to how much ninety seven So how can you take here? If we told difference and sum, you take x one number, another number, automatically you will get. How he told? Let's think about. He told x minus y equals to five. If I take the first one x, the next one y equal to how much? Y equal to x minus five. Yes or no? Okay. So like that, uh, you have to take here first number. I have taken x, or you can take the plus also. Okay, first number I taken letter. First number equal to x. Next number equal to how much? 
next number equals to x plus 5 because they are differed by 5. I have taken this one greater than number x plus 5 minus x equal to how much? 5 we are getting. Next what he told? Sum of the square equal to 97. Sum of the square means uh, x square plus x plus 5 whole square equal to 97. Then what you will get? x square plus x square plus 25 plus 10x equals to 97. Then you write it 2x square plus 10x plus 25 minus 97 equals to 0. So what you are getting? 2x square plus 10x minus 752 equals to 0. And you can find out, okay, take out the LCM and find out, you know that product of the, these two number equal to 144 and addition equals to 10, 12 and 2, you can find out easily. Okay, otherwise, what do you have to take, take out the, otherwise, take out the common, 2 here, common, 2 here also common, here, taken as the common. So, 2x square plus 5x minus 36 is coming, because this uh, 2 will go the side means 0. So you think 2 number, if we add or it will come or add or subtract it will come 5 or multiply you will get a 36. So I know that x square plus 9x minus 4x minus 36 equals to 0. Then what do you have to do? x square, x common taken x plus 9 minus 4 common taken x minus 9, x plus 9 equals to 0. Then what happened? x plus 9 and another one equal to x minus 4 equals to 0. Then what happened? x plus 9 equal to 0, x equal to minus 9. You can take x equal to 4. So 4 is coming, 4, next one is your 9. So 4 square plus 9 to square, 9 square equal to 81 plus 4 square equal to 16 equal to 97. Next Another type of we will give you divide divide 15 into 2 parts. What you will tell? Divide a number that is given 15 into 2 parts. How many parts? 2 parts. Such that the sum of the reciprocal. First of all, reciprocal means what? Sum of the reciprocal is given already. Sum of the reciprocal. Reciprocal equals to 3 by 10. You got how much given? 3 by 10. So, what he told? Find out, uh, so split that 15 into 2 part. Sum of the reciprocal is 3 by 10. Or he told, sum of the two number equals to 15. Okay. Then, one number I have taken as the x. Another number equal to how much? 15 minus x. Yes or no? According to you, reciprocal of x equal to how much? 1 by x. Reciprocal of 15 minus equal to how much? 1 by 15 minus x. Why I have taken x? Look here. First of all, he told 15 is the sum of two number or divide 15 into two part such that sum of their reciprocal is 3 by 10. So I have taken first number as the x. Next number equal to how much? 15 minus x. He told reciprocal means x reciprocal equal to how much? 1 by x. 15 minus x reciprocal equal to how much? 1 by 15 minus x. So what he told here? Sum of the reciprocal equal to 3 by 10. So can I write 1 by x plus 1 by 15 minus x equals to 3 by 10? Yes or no? Take out the LCM. x bracket 15 minus x equals to what happened here? 15 minus x plus x equal to 3 by 10 coming. Yes or no? Next you think x x cancel 15 equals to x into 15 minus x. Okay, into 3. This one 10 go to this side. So 150 divided by 3 equal to 15x minus x square. So 3 ones are 350. So what is the answer? x square minus 15x plus 50 equals to 0. You think two number 10 and 5. Yes or no? You split and 2. So these are about, about the what? About the number. A number also having 
two digit, three digit also numbers are like here. This one two digit. How can you write in expansion form? So if I will write um, a number, a number equals to twenty three, I written here. So in expand form, how can you write two into ten plus three? Yes or no? This one is tens plus. This one is ones plus. So what he will tell? He will ask you about this uh, number. How can I ask you? A two-digit number is such that what uh, he told? Two-digit number is such that product of the digit is uh, six. Product of the digit. Product of a digit. So which one are the digit? Digit is two and three. We can say. Okay, two three is equal to how much? He told uh, six. Yes or no? And when nine is added, what a when nine is added to the number, the digits are interchange their places. What a the digits are interchange their places means three comes in the place of two, two comes in the place of three. So find out the number. So first let the number I can tag ten x plus y. Yes or no? But uh, we are reading about quadratic equation only single variable. So I have taken here ten x plus y. Okay. Next, what he told product of the digit is six. So can I write x into y equal to six? Therefore, y equal to six by x. Can I write? Yes or no? So my number equal how much? Number is number is ten x plus. 10x plus 6 by x equals to x 10x square plus 6. This one my number. Okay. Next, what he told? If I added 9 to the number, to the number means this one is the number, or this one you can say the number. Okay. If 9 is now added, then the digits are reverse. So can I write 10x plus y plus 9 equals to how much? 10y plus x. Okay, so can I write here 10x minus xy minus 10y plus 9 equals to zero. Yes or no? So 10x minus x equal to how much? 9x plus a minus 9y equals to a plus 9 equals to zero. So 9 bracket x minus y plus 1 equals to zero. Nine go that side means x minus y plus one equals to zero. Okay, so instead of y, you can put six by x. What x minus six by x plus one equals to zero. You will get the equation x x square minus six plus x equals to zero. Therefore, x square plus x minus six equal to zero. So when you split the middle term, you will get okay. So what you have to take? First, let the number equal to 10x plus y. X plus uh, tens plus is x. Ones plus is y. But he told product of the digits. Remember digits. He told product of the two-digit numbers. Digits. Digits means x and y. Okay. So x and y equals to what? Six. Therefore, y equal to six by x. So number equals to original number. You can write like this and like that also. Okay. So uh, according to the question, what is given? If I added nine to the original number ten x plus y plus nine equal to ten y plus x, then I substitute the values, uh, rewritten, and we get the equation. After that, you can find out. Okay. Next is about problem based on time and work. What a problem based on time and work. So time and work. Uh, when we told about time and uh, work, uh, so. What do you have to do? First, remember you just form the equation. If you form the equation, they can give you the mark. What do you told? First, if I tell A can do a piece of work, A can do a piece of work in X hour or uh, sorry X days. I told X days. B can do the same work in X plus 16 days. What a X plus 16 days. Okay. Then if both Both working together, they can do the work in 15 days. If A plus B can do the work in how many days? 15 days. So when he told about time and work, A can do the work in next days. One work. B can 
do the same work in x plus 16 days but uh, if both are working together they can do the work in 15 days so what do you have to take so you already told a complete x days a what so in one day you will do the one by x part yes or no you make it one one day if he told you days one day if you told here hour one hour if you told about minute you take one minute okay in one day you can complete one by x part like that b also complete uh, in one day he will complete how many part one by x plus 16 part yes or no both are doing the work in how many days 15 days so in one day how how, how many part one by 15 part therefore total equal how much 1 by x plus 1 by x plus 16 plus a equals to 1 by 15 after finding you take out the LCM I will find out the equation after finding the equation you can solve x bracket x plus 16 ok x plus 16 plus x equals to 1 by 15 you do that next ok but you remember if we told days hours a can do a some work in 5 days, B can do the same work in 6 days, he will tell you, then you find out for 1 day. The if he told about hour, for 1 hour you make it. After that, I can tell another type of problem. 2 pipes are there. What? 2 pipes are there. 2 pipes are there. Okay. 1 fill up the 2 pipes, 1 fill up in X hour. Another one is 3 hours less than that of the next detail. I take in two pipes are there. One, one can fill up a tank in X hour. Another can fill up in 3 hours less. So I take in one hour. One, take in, one pipe can fill up the X hour. And another one equals to. Another one equals to. X plus 3 hour I take in. If you take X minus 3 also. It's okay. Okay, no problem. In one hour, how many part? 1 by x part. In one hour, how many part? 1 by x plus 3 part. But what he told? Later he told that they can fill together in how many hour? 6 hour 40 minutes. What? 6 hour 40 minutes. How many hour? 6 hour 40 minutes he told. So what do you have to do? So in one hour, they can do how many part? 1 by 6 hour plus 40 minutes 40 minutes means you make that one into hour 40 by 60 okay after that calculation 2 to the 2 3 the how many hour? 6 to the 6 plus 18 21 by how many 20 by 3 therefore 3 by 20 so together they can fill the fill it how many part 3 by 20 part so 1 by x plus 1 by x plus 3 equal to you can write 3 by 20 sometimes uh, some students are taking x minus 3 it's okay answer will come but you remember you have to convert this uh, 40 minute into hour after that uh, you make it the reciprocal reciprocal is must okay because you are taking 6 hour 40 minutes to complete the work so in one hour they can do how many part 3 by 20 part clear next is about Problem based on geometrical figure. What a problem based on a geometrical figure. Geometrical figure means you can say that uh, geometrical figure. Geometrical figure means you can say that uh, one is a rectangle, square, and a triangle. Okay. So I know that the I have to right angle triangle. Okay. In right angle triangle, one is hypotenuse, the another one is perpendicular, and the other one is pass. So, he will give you about this concept. What he will give? The hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is 26. What is given? Hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is 26. And some of the other two sides are, some of the other two sides are what? 34. Some of these two sides equal to how much? 34. So, find out the length. How can you find out? First, he told H is equals to 26. P plus B equals to how much? 34. Okay, so therefore B equal to how can write? 34 minus P. Yes or no? 
He told you what? Uh, find out the all length. But you know that uh, this one is a right angle triangle. So when a right angle triangle is told, uh, you know that the value for formula is uh, what? H square equal to P square plus P square. H square means how? What you can write here? 26 square. P square means uh, P square you can write. Instead of B, you can put 34 minus P. 34 minus P all square. So, this one is about what, what a geometrical figure. Sometimes he will tell you H equal to 26 given, difference between the two equal to 5. So, you have to take X, then that one is X plus 5. Okay, like that, uh, the geometrical figures uh, problem will give you. Okay, next is what about a veranda is there. Okay, the length of veranda is 3 meter more than its breadth. What he told? length of veranda is 3 meter more than its breadth so first i have taken breadth equal to x length equal to much x plus 3 okay what he told the length of a veranda is 3 meter more than its breadth so breadth i taken x length equal to much x plus 3 okay next what he told the numerical value of its area what a numerical value of its area area equal to how can you write here L into B. Yes or no? L into B. Okay. Equals to perimeter. Numerical value means if this one area is coming 52, perimeter also coming 52. Okay. Number, not a unit at all. Perimeter equals to 7 meters. So perimeter's formula equal to how much? 2 into L plus B. So what you have here? First breadth equal to X. So length equal to X plus 3. You can write X plus 3 into X equals to 2 bracket x plus x plus 3 so first read the question what he told length of a veranda is more than 3 meter 3 centimeter more than that of the 3 meter more than that of the breadth i have taken breadth equal to x length equal to x plus 3 next what he told he told that uh, numerically area of the veranda is equal to the area of the perimeter numerical means numerical value it is coming 52 means if it is also coming 52. So we know that areas formula equal to length into breadth, perimeter equal to 2 into L plus B. Therefore, you can write X plus 3 into X equal to 2 bracket X plus X plus 3. So next you can solve X square plus 3X equals to 2 bracket 2X plus 3. So X square plus 3X equals to 4X plus 6. So, how much x square plus 3x minus 4x minus 6 equals to 0. Okay. So, x square minus x minus 6 equals to 0. You can split the middle term and find the value. Okay. Next. Next, he will tell you about the speed, distance and time. I told you about the number, geometrical figure, time and work. Last one is your. What about the about the speed, distance and time. We know that speed equals to distance by time. Okay, speed equal to distance by time. So what he will tell? He will ask you in the questions. By increasing the speed of a car. Remember, by increasing the speed of a car by 10 km per hour, the time of journey for a distance of 72 km. First, what he told the time taken, oh sorry, the speed by increasing the speed of a car. So, let the initial speed equal to x kilometer per hour. What he told by increasing the 10 kilometer per hour. 10 kilometer per hour means x plus 10 kilometer per hour. Distance equal how much given? Distance he told about 72 kilometer only. Okay, so. And 72 kilometer. If he met the speed, okay, increasing the speed, then it times will what less? Yes or no? First of all, listen. What he told first, he told that uh, total distance equal to 72 kilometer. A car moving in x kilometer per hour. Okay. Then time taken equal how much? Time equals to 72 divided by x. Time equal to distance by speed I have taken. 
Next what he told? He told that the same distance 72. Okay. But he changed the speed. Speed means speed equal to how much he taken? 10 kilometer more. 10 kilometer per hour more. So time equals to how much? Here time equals to time to equals to 72 divided by x plus 10. Okay. So let me ask you one question. He will take more uh, time or he will take more time. According to our knowledge, if speed is increased, time is less. So time 1 minus time 2 equals to I can write 30 minutes. What are time 1 72 by x minus 72 divided by x plus 10 equal to how much? 30 minutes he told. How many minutes? 30 minutes. So 30 minutes means uh, you can make it our 30 by 60. After that you can find out. Okay, take out the LCM. How will you take out the LCM? You know that x bracket x plus 10. This one equal to 72 bracket x plus 10 minus 72 into x equal to 1 by 2. 1 by 2. Next, what you can write? 72x plus 720 minus 72x divided by x square plus 10x equals to 1 by 2 cross multiply you will get the equation after that you solve so this one is about your water speed distance and time another question i can tell you about the water sometimes students are facing the problem by solving about the upstream and downstream upstream and downstream means so first here two speeds are there. What are boat speed and water speed or still water speed? He can say you. Okay. So then upstream means water. Actually, boat is moving in this direction. And water flows in opposite direction. So boat speed is this one. Speed of the boat. This one. Speed of the water. So upstream means water. Actually water moving in this direction and water against the direction so speed of the boat minus speed of the water is your resultant speed of the boat clear next is what he told about the downstream speed of the boat is moving in this direction and speed of the water also in this direction so if the speed of the boat in this direction or the boat speed equal to in the, in the direction and in the direction water speed also same then aggregate or speed of the boat equal to water the speed of the boat plus speed of the water total speed will come so next come to the question a motor boat whose speed is 9 km per hour means boat speed equals to 9 km per hour he told Next what he told, in still water goes 12 km downstream, 12 km downstream, M means distance is given here to here 12 km, okay, 12 km downstream, downstream means water, speed of the boat and speed of the water in the same direction, so let I have taken speed of the water or water speed equals to x km per hour, so Downstream equal to how much? Downstream speed equal to downstream speed equal to how much? X plus sorry 9 plus X. What a 9 plus X kilometer per hour. Yes or no? So how much distance he have taken? 12 kilometer. Therefore time equal to how much? Time equals to time equal to what? Distance divided by speed. So distance equal to how much? 12 divided by 9 plus x. Next what he told? He comes back. Comes back means sir, upstream will occur. So upstream equals to how much? 9 minus x. I told you speed of the boat minus speed of the water. 9 minus x. Time equals to how much? Again same. 12 divided by 9 minus x. Total time equal to how much? Time 1 plus time 2 equal to given 3 hour. What a 3 hour? Therefore, ATQ according to the question 12 by 
9 plus x plus 12 by 9 minus x equal to 3 over. So, you can solve here. Yes or no? Remember one thing. Speed of the boat is much more greater than that of the water. So, first you write the speed of the boat. After that, the speed of the water. If he told downstream, you add them. If he told about the upstream, you minus. But remember, boat speed minus water speed. So, according to this, you have to solve the problem. Okay. Next, you see your exercise. In exercise, lots of examples are there. You solve all the examples and see the process. If you are having any doubt, then you can ask me. Thank you.